Ta -ta. Hola, ¿cómo estamos? <risa> Qué rico tenerlos por acá. Me encanta, me encanta. Qué felicidad. Hoy tenemos, tenemos una entrevista maravillosa. Ella es Marina Shishkova desde Rusia. Hello, guys. This is Marina Shishkova from Russia. This is the festival Mehnat. So we are super happy with this interview. Marina, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, you. amazing. I'm very sure you feel good now too. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we're super excited about this festival. We are super excited with your class and with the master classes of all these amazing artists. So we are super, super, super happy. We are too, you know, it's very big. Uh, I'm very sure it's very big project for everyone from another country, from another city. And we will be together. It's offline, it's true, but I'm very sure it will be so amazing, like offline too. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So Marina, let's start from the beginning. Where were you from and how did you fell in love with Oriental dance? How did you discover this amazing dance and why you felt like, oh my God, I have to practice this. I love this. So where are you from? Okay, the first I am from Russia, you know, uh, we have so many schools, but we will talk about this very soon. Um, I started to love belly dance 16 years ago when one of my friends go to the class, belly dance class. It was like fitness belly dance. It was not like, um, like, not like a now. <laughs> it was really natural fitness belly dance. And she told me, my friend, Like, Marina, you know, it's so amazing time, it's so amazing teacher, it's so amazing style, style. can you come with me? I say, no, sorry, it's not my way, I think. Because before I had, um, like, gymnastic uh, school, I was in gymnastic school. Yeah. Sorry, my okay. English is not very well, but I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And... You know, after all my friends go with her to the belly dance class. And I think, okay, every girl come to the class. What about me? I won't go too. I want to see. Maybe I will love too. And after maybe one month, I come with everyone <laughs> to the class. The first, my feeling, I don't remember. But I don't remember when the teacher told me, Marina, after three months, we will go to the competition and i want to take you i want to bring you with me i said okay but i don't know how, what what can i do <laughs> i can do just uh something from the gymnastic but nothing more <laughs> it was my first uh, competition after three months and i had third place it was just five uh, competitors On my uh, on my category, but after that I understand. Oh my God, I I want to have so many medals. I want to have so many crowns. I want to be on the stage. I want to be winner every time. <laughs> you know, and it was my start 16 years ago. Okay, okay, okay. So, did you fell in love because of the movements, because of the music? What what touched your heart? Uh, you know everything from the belly dance. First, for me, this is music, of course. Every music, every style. When I hear, I just, I can see it. I want to dance. I want to do something, but I can't see. It. This is first. The second, the people who is always watching you. You have so much energy when you dance for the people. Oh my God! It's not just you take it. Uh, just just you give for everyone no you are taking it it's same like if you are happy i will help you if i am sad with pop pop song because now this is my emotions like this you will too remember some moment of, of your life some memories from your life if i will dance pop song it will be same mm, same how i can explain same things same emotions you know that why i love to dance for the people and mm -hmm. when i was on the competition it was for me too so interesting time because 
you understand what you want to be winner if you want to be winner you will do everything everything for the judges not for the people because if you want to be winner you have to dance okay if you're dancing for the competition you have to dance for the judges yeah it's true because only they know your place <laughs> yeah 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 and and this so great atmosphere everywhere because we are we have and we are always together and we have same way we have same things it's so lovely on my life and your life in your life in life every dancers exactly exactly uh, we were talking about uh, so marina tell us about the competitions so how did you prepare for the competitions? Uh, how do you prepare the girls, your students for the competitions? How is this process? Well, it's so, so interesting question because every time on my workshop, when we have about two or three minutes for the break, everybody asks me about this. Okay, the first I will talk about me and after I will say about the, my students. When I was on the competition, before I am prepared, of course, the music and I can't say what I prepared the choreography because always in my life I dancing improvise. That's why uh, for me it was for me it was always difficult to dance choreography. Just first step on the stage and I forget everything. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It was so many times that why I dancing always improvise. Um, I tried to take so different music like slow and faster but for me was dancing much comfortable faster you know <laughs> maybe because i am like this i have so much energy that why for me was much better um when i dancing in the competition i always saw who will judge me always because if um if I will dance in Russia, I will have style more that Russian judges love. If I will dance uh, in another country and we will have so many different judges, I will try to be interesting for every. Like maybe this one love more Argentinian style. Maybe this one love Egyptian style. Maybe this love uh, this one judge love more. Russian, uh -huh. Russian, Egyptian, okay, <laughs> you understand what I mean. I will prepare something from this country, from this country, and from this country. And every judges will love something from me. You have to be, um, I forget this word in English, but you have to understand what judges want to see from you, if you want to be a winner. If you want to just show what you are good, okay, but I'm not sure what you will be, <laughs> winner. Try to always concentrate with the things, with the music, with the judges, with the everything. Because competition, this is competition. When you will uh, dance on the show, take what you want, dance what you want, be like you want. <laughs> and about my students, uh, they, of course, not dance improvise. <laughs> Of course, I always prepare the choreography. I always help with the costumes. And, you know, I would try to make mix more with the Egyptian style. But I love now, I love Argentinian style too. That's why we have mix Russian, Argentinian and Egyptian. <laughs> like always. And before the competition we are prepared every day they come to me we're dancing 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 i'm not so strong teacher i'm i can say what i'm so kind teacher but if i don't like it i will don't say like i like it but i will don't say like what what happened what happened with you stop it stop it no because for me this is art but always when we go to the stage when we go to the competition we are going to take a medal and be winner <laughs> we have only one way 
Exactly, exactly. Super interesting, super interesting. So let's talk. You were saying something about the Russian style. What do you think is the Russian style? How can we differentiate the Russian style? How do you see, okay, this is Russian style? Because the Egyptian style, yes, we know the Argentinian, but how do you define the Russian style? Okay, first, uh, you can understand this is Russian style or not because of costume. costumes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Russian and Ukrainian is for the same. We have mixed like ballroom classes, you know, like ballroom Latina and Egyptian style. But we have, uh, if I will see, the arms like Argentinian, more classical. If I will see so much time, uh, so much movement with the hair, it will be Russian style. If I will see the costumes with so many stones, <laughs> it's Ukrainian and Russian style. And uh, what I can say, the steps, like, okay, in Argentina, we have a uh, so great teacher like a Saida, yeah. And we, we can understand what this is Saida style. Yes, because some women, some steps, some costumes, same. We in Russia have two teachers like Elena Ramazanova, like in Ukraine, Daria Mitskevich like Diva Darina in Ukraine, like, uh, who is so famous too, like Diana Gnachenka. We have so many dancers from Ukraine and Russia. And you will understand, just give one step on the stage. <laughs> Russian style, it's for me, yes. It's for me like Latina style and Egyptian style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in the Russian style, what I see is a lot of a uh, big presence of the Egyptian style, but uh, very elegant, in control. You see that uh, the dancers, they have been trained or ballet or ballroom because the yes. turns uh, technique is very uh, solid or the leg technique is very solid also. So you can see that it's not just the Egyptian because uh, a lot of uh, Russian, Russian dancers are your, uh, like yourself. You have a very strong Egyptian style, but you are also feminine, delicate, you know, and Polish. Your lines are very elegant, you know. So Thank you. Like you have you have something of the Russian because this is your country. But I see a lot of the Egyptian, but I see the beauty, the elegance, the strong lines, you know, of perhaps this ballroom or ballet or, or other influence. Huh? Yeah, it's true. Thank you so much. Because we are start uh, to dance belly dance, not with the belly dance. We start to dance with the classical dance or with the ballet, with the ballroom dance. When I was young, I didn't start with the Latina or ballet or classical style. Just now, I start to be more difficult. That's why I start to dance Latina. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. So why do, you, why do you think that so many Russian dancers right now are getting a lot of recognition like yourself and many other Russian dancers? Why do you think um, a lot of them are gaining this recognition and this fame? What do you think is happening? Is because technique? Is because uh, super good technique super talented what do you think because they you polish and you uh, take a lot of time taking care of your appearance also so it's like a a complete you know look it's not just the technique it's not just the feeling but it's also the look why do you think what do you think well it's so interesting question you know uh you will every time understand what this is russian and ukrainian girl or not <laughs> Because we're always think about the hair, we're always think about the lips, we're always think about eyelashes, we're always think about the beauty, like you, like so many uh, women from another country. But in Russia, we have so many competition and we have so many competitors on the one category. When I dancing on the one category, like championship on Russia. In my category was 302 person. What? <laughs> it was eight hours on the stage. We dancing improvise and after half it was lost and half dancing again improvise. 
lost again in prowess, lost some people again in prowess, eight hours. Wow. It was so long time, but we have so many dancers. And if you want to be, if you want to be winner, if you want to be more interesting for everyone, you will be you will think okay maybe i can say maybe i can do costume something different maybe i will look something different and of course you have to be you you must be beautiful <laughs> exactly yes and now so many dancers um make the lips make the hair make the you yeah everything what i mean <laughs> yes. Yes, and everybody think about the body. For me, it's not bad. If you want to change something from you, if you will be after more good, why not? Exactly. And so many dancers now in Egypt dancing with the, not natural beauty, but it's beautiful. Their look is so, so fresh. Their look is so, so cute and so beautiful. It's true. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> So uh, why do you think or when these competitions started? Like, I mean, uh, because you say that there are many, many, many competitions. How many competitions can it be? Can, can you like a normal student, how many competitions she can enter per uh, year, for example? And the competitions got popular like, I don't know, five years ago, 10 years ago or more time ago, like they gain this popularity because everybody was making competitions when this started in russia oh 16 years ago when i started it was uh it was so many competitions too but the russia is so big you know that that why we have so many competitions every week every week but from another city, of course, <laughs> from another city, from another... Um, sometimes we have in one city or so close uh, city, two festivals, you know? It was very difficult for the organizers. But I don't know how many years ago the competitions started in Russia. I think maybe 20 years ago, I think, but I'm not sure. But when I started, it was so many. Now it's too much, too much. <laughs> it's okay, it's great. If you want to be more professional every time, you will dance on the competition. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if for you it's so light, like, uh, okay, I'm dancing and uh, I'm dancing on the stage, I'm good. I will dance uh, on the stage, like uh, open stage, I'm good. No, if you want to be a professional, you will dance on the competition because you will understand why she is more good than you or why she is better than, uh, than you. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So um, from in Russia, from a very young age, you start dancing, not only Oriental dance, but also, like I mean, the little kids in Russia, we have uh, heard stories that uh, from you were very young you have to pick perhaps in perhaps in practicing practicing a martial art or a ballet or something like this since you are very small is part of the education in russia no to stimulate and to uh, tell the little kids okay you have to do something physical even if it is a martial art or gy gymnastic maybe or dance uh, this is true this is what you see in your country new city yes uh, it's true because uh, so many dancers start from the three years, you know, when you have a little baby <laughs> and you, uh, your baby has three years, you will start to think, okay, she's young now, but if, you, if I want to make her professional dancer, I will think, okay, she will go to gymnastic, she will go to ballroom class or she will go to belly dance class but of exactly. course it will be about three years uh not belly dance it will be like classical um school <laughs> you know yeah yeah start uh, when you start the belly dance you will start with the club like the rhythm and after you will just start to learn how you can step normal step and you will think how you can be 
winner on, on the stage. It was about three years. And after, only after three or two year and a half, you will go to the stage. Not like you are, okay, wow, you're a baby. Let's go to the stage. Yeah, it is Before a process. Mm -hmm, step mm -hmm, step. Exactly. Exactly. So talking about choreographies, for example, when do you have when you have to do, do a choreography for yourself or for a student or something like this? How do you create your choreographies? You first select the music and then you just listen, listen, listen. And how is your creation process? Uh, you know, for me, it's so, e uh, you know, <laughs> for me, it's so easy to prepare the combinations. I just hear the music and start to dance three times or four times. I will just improvise and after I will understand, okay, these combinations, I can take it. Because if I will start to hear the music about uh, 100 times and after I will prepare the choreography it will be not so interesting but if i will hear the music about five times or six times and will start to improvise yes in this time it will be so interesting because i will do it fast i will do it interesting and i will don't think about that okay i can do this kick and after two seconds no maybe camel no maybe turn that why I do it so fast and for me it's look more difficult mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. exactly okay so which tips can you give the students marina for example when you're they are just starting at the beginning which advice recommendations you always give to your students like be on time be disciplined be always like regular with your classes which advices you always give to your students uh, the first, uh, we're talking, of course, like you can't understand what if you come to me, you will go to the stage, you will go to the competition <laughs> because for the life I'm not teaching because I don't have time for that. Um, and first, I always say to my students, don't forget dance with the heart because how, how you will start to understand what this is just middle just uh, crown, just uh, you understand what you are a winner, it's top of your career. You have to understand what you always have to learn. Never stop, never stop. For you, it just start like for me. I, every year I say to myself like, Marina, this is your first step. Do it, do it, this is your first step. Just now you are start, just now you are start. Not before, not like, okay, I am winner. I will stay at home and will be winner of the, of the world. <laughs> always think about the people. Always be great, great first for you and after for the people and next for the judges. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Always try to be great. Okay, and which advice for the teachers that they are training their own students for competitions or for the stage, even if it is an open stage or something like this, which advice can you tell the teachers specifically to pay attention on what, to say what to the students? What do you recommend? Mm, I think I don't understand the question. <laughs> Okay, for example, uh, I am a teacher and I have my students. So what uh, recommendation or tip can you give me as a teacher? Yes, you know, so I, I can understand. say to my students, exactly. So for, for example, you can tell me, Maria, uh, uh, you have to be very specific in the details. Yes. Or you have to push your students a little bit more, like you can do it, you can do it, you can motivate more your students. So from teacher to teacher, what can you give me, for example, which tip can you give me so I can give my students? The first, uh, your teacher, you have to do motivation every time for your students. It's so, you're like second mom. You have to be always close with your students. You have to always help, always, not only with the belly dance. You have to be like uh, sisters. That's why you have to do, um, you have to give motivations, it's first. The second, you have to be 
uh, you have to always look at the other students and other teachers and think not like, oh, she is bad. No, my students is good. No, just look and understand. Okay, maybe she has something interesting. I can take it. Maybe she is not good in this technique. Marina, Maria, don't do this next time or concentrate with some movement. And the third, it's always you have to understand what you have your students. It's like your baby. You have to give way for everyone. It's like not just, it's my student. Don't come to workshops. Don't come to competitions. You have to give way for everyone. Like you have to learn from this teacher. You have to learn from this teacher. You have to go to the you have to go everywhere if you have money you have to learn not only from me because if your students will learn from you from another teacher from another uh from another workshops from another competition it will be great for you because your student will be so interesting exactly. i hope you understand exactly. what i mean <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. So you are going to have with us, with the Menacht Festival, you are going to have a shabby class. Okay, so, exactly. So <laughs> what are you going to teach? Uh, what the students are going to learn from you? What can we expect with this uh, shabby class? What are you going to give? You know, for me, shabby is so lovely style. For me, shabby is really my style and it's like myself. That why we will be first is how I can explain. I have so so much things, but I am very sure you will like it. The first, you can be ready, but it will be not slow. <laughs> it will be faster. And we will always think about the technique because it's so bigger technique, like a tree that. And the music is so famous now in, the, in Egypt. It's so new. And I am very sure you will be a little bit tired, maybe not a little, <laughs> but you will. <laughs> and after you can dance this choreography on the competition, because this is choreography not like a like, not like a mm, for the for yourself. No, this is really great choreography for the competition. And so many dancers now in Russia dancing on the competition and have first place. And I am very sure you will be interesting. Just try to prepare yourself, take your water, so much. <laughs> <laughs> take your water, take your smile, and don't forget, take so, 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 so beautiful training form. Don't try to take black form, you know? Try to be more light. Why not? Maybe this one, maybe so uh, light uh, lashes, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, not eyelashes. Uh, lipstick. Lipstick, yeah. lipstick. <laughs> lipstick. And maybe so light uh, training form. Try to be like a, mm, like a sweet girl. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is this super, is super nice. Super, super nice. Okay. Marina, it was a pleasure to have you here with us. This was a super nice interview. I know that the students are going to love, love your class because your technique is amazing. How do you prepare the choreographies is amazing. They are fast, they are, they are a joy to dance. So I, I really wanted to thank you being us with the festival in the Festival Jimenat and also thank you for being here in this interview. So I don't know if you want to say goodbye to the girls. Yes, of course. First, I want to say thank you so much, my dear Maria, for invitation. It was for me a big pleasure and so interesting to watch so many dancers. Yeah. <laughs> and I can wait to see you. I can wait to see you very, very soon. And I'm very sure you will like it. You will so, 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 so happy with this course because we have so many great dancers, great teachers from another country. That's why I am so excited to start it. And I will learn with you. Super, <laughs> super, super. That is fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to say now goodbye to everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this amazing festival. We have lectures, we have the competition, we have the open stage, we have these amazing master classes. So thank you for watching. I'm going to say the same in Spanish. 
Muchísimas gracias a todas las personas que se conectaron. Muchísimas, muchísimas gracias. Vamos a tener muchísimas actividades. Qué rico celebremos juntos este festival Menacht, ¿ok? So, goodbye, everybody. See you goodbye. soon. Thank you, Marina. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.